Hi, this is Jana with Canacare Docs, and we're here in Milford, Massachusetts, speaking with the founder and CEO of Perverde Labs, Dorian Delorier. Join us inside the grow tent. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm the CEO and founder of Perverde Labs. Mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneurial spirit and signed the petition for medical marijuana when I came out of the grocery store one day and thought, hmm, I'd like to be part of this, and started doing some research into what was involved with this and what was the industry like. and and after doing research, thought this is definitely a place that we'd like to be involved with. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at different options for getting into the space and realized that testing made an awful lot of sense. Um, so we could learn what's in the product and the safety aspect of that. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of research. Um, my business partner, Chris and I, who's our PhD, um, he's our CSO and also co-founder. Mm -hmm. Um, he has a lot of experience in the testing background, so we got together and talked about what would make sense in the industry and decided to pursue the testing part of the business. Mm -hmm. We've done a bunch of research on, on people that have been affected by contaminated um, cannabis. Nobody's ever died. The death rate remains constant at zero still for consuming marijuana. Right. But there are a number of people that have compromised immune systems that have got sick and a number of them have actually died from consuming um, contaminated cannabis. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of peer-reviewed journals with the studies of all that information, presented that to the Massachusetts um, Board of Health, and after reviewing that they thought it did make sense to make it mandatory. Mm -hmm. And so Massachusetts was the first state to make testing mandatory. And since then every state is now making testing mandatory, um, and those that didn't have it are now going back and implementing some level of, of testing. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense because everything that we put on or in our body is tested somewhere along the line. And if we're trying to bring out the medical properties of this it, legitimately into the light, it should be treated like other medicines, right. including full testing for safety and efficacy. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to do that and open up Perverti Labs. And we chose the name Perverti not just because of the green plant, but we, use, uh, we try to use green technologies, some that are environmentally right. friendly. So for instance, in our cannabinoid profiling, we use 500, 100 to 500 times less waste compared to every other lab in the space. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anybody in the cannabis space that's using that kind of technology that's for, for cannabinoid profiling. Yeah, it's pretty important to do that because toxic waste generation, there's an awful lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, and if we can minimize that, then that makes a lot of sense and we're able to do that and have really accurate results. So on the potency side, we test for uh, cannabinoid profiles mm -hmm. and for terpene profiles. Mm -hmm. Those combined give you what the experience is going to be. It's not just the cannabinoids, it's not just THC. How it feels is a combination of those and the terpene profile that's in there. Because if I'm going to use this for a specific purpose, I need to know what is in it. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to try to treat a skin condition, um, chronic pain, um, epilepsy, any of those things, I need to know what's in it and what works in order to be able to get um, effective results with that. So by testing, we can tell you what the profiles are of the cannabinoids and of the terpenes, and with that, people make better informed decisions on what works for them. Or if they find something that's working, they can then do testing and see what was it that worked for me, mm -hmm. and then use that as a guide to buy, make future purchases. We can actually take the plant once it's sprouted and the cotyledon is that bean thing at the bottom, and then right. you have a primary leaf, and then you have one that has three, and then you get to the fives and sevens after that. Mm -hmm. Between the cotyledon and the first set of leaves is when the cannabinoid profile is established in the plant. So when you get your second set of leaves, I can take a piece of one leaf and I can tell you what the cannabinoid profile is going to be, meaning the ratio of, of THCA and CBD and mm -hmm. TH, THCA and CBDA and so forth. That's the chemotyping. Yep. Excellent. And so we can do that and tell you that. So if you're hunting for a high CBD strain, you don't have to wait for them to grow and flower and test us, then test the flowers. We can do that when they're seedlings. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and we can also do um, plant sexing as another test that we're offering. Mm -hmm. um, we can also do um, nutrient profiling. So nutrient profile, if I put nutrients in the soil, we assume that the plant's consuming those. That may or may not be the case. And so what we can do is we can take a, a, a five finger leaf and then take one of the fingers from that mm -hmm. and, and test that. We can tell you what the nutrients are in the plant. So you can see that's amazingly valuable. It is. So it, you know what the plant is choosing to take up. Right. We know what we choose to put in the soil. We don't know what the plant chooses to take up. And if I'm putting things in there that they're not taking up, why am I putting them in there? Right. Um, and, and maybe the plant is deficient in something. You can tell that by, by how much is in the plant itself. We also test for the um, safety side. So we test for pesticides. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We test for microbiologicals, which is yeast and mold, E. coli, salmonella, mm -hmm. all those kinds of nasty things. Right. We test for mycotoxins, which is mycotoxins are the byproduct of um, mold production. And mm -hmm. so it's not living, but it's really toxic to humans. And so it's particularly from aspergillus mold. Mm -hmm. um, so that's screening that's required. We do that. We do heavy metals. Um, and I think that's the whole suite of that. Oh, um, residual solvents too. And one of the things about test results, when I get test results back and it says none detected, it should be to what level? Okay. Because if I can only see to parts per thousand, and these are in lower concentrations, I won't see them. If I can see parts per million, but the concentration is lower than that, I can't see that. Mm -hmm. And so people will report none detected. Doesn't mean that they aren't there, they didn't see them. Right. And so some of our equipment, we can, we can see down to parts per billion. So for instance, on heavy metal analysis, parts per billion is hard for my brain to even comprehend to see that, but um, you can see microparticles when you can see down to parts per billion. Mm -hmm. And so by having that kind of technology, we can very easily say in the parts per million, we're very confident in that because we can see a much lower level of concentration than that. So what are the effects of, let's say, you know, a patient is going to be ingesting medicine that has, you know, yeast and salmonella, you know, what happens? Well, salmonella, we all know what that story is. Real, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, E. coli, kind of the same story. Very scary. Yeah, you're in the small room most of the day. Yeah. Um, and um, on the other ones, yeast and mold, I think most people don't have an issue with that. It's when you have a compromised immune system. Okay. And we're selling this as medicine. In some way or another, some, a lot of these people have compromised immune system. And depending on what that is, their immune system can, can be more compromised by having those type of toxins in their systems. Mm -hmm. And the whole point of, of testing really is to provide people with information. Mm -hmm. It's a data point. And so how, how, do I, how well am I doing? I don't know, you need two data points. We test now and say this is how you are and then test again and do the comparison. Are you getting better or are you worse? One of the main things you can get from testing is the lab can be your friend, not your enemy. We, we deliver the message. We don't make the message. Right. We don't make the message. I mean, there's people that set standards and we say things are above or below. Mm -hmm. But as far as processing things, we know how to help people get all the ethanol out of their product if that's the issue or mm -hmm. to get higher yields and things like that. Thanks for joining us inside the Grow Tent with Canacare Docs. Also, a special thank you to Dorian and the team at Proverde Labs.